Hello everyone. Let's learn about electron affinity and its trends in the periodic table. As energy is required to remove an electron from an atom, energy is released when an electron is added to a neutral atom and this energy is called electron affinity. So what is electron affinity? It is the energy released when an electron is added to an isolated gaseous atom. For example, if X atom accepts or gains one electron it becomes an ion and some amount of energy is released and that energy is called electron affinity. Let's take an example of chlorine atom having 17 protons and 17 electron and it has only one electron uh, less than the stable noble gas configuration so it accepts means gains one electron and becomes chloride ion with 17 protons and 18 electrons and now it has a stable noble gas configuration and some amount of energy is released after the addition of one electron and that energy is electron affinity and generally the energy released from this process that is electron affinity is taken as positive so more the tendency of an atom to accept electron higher will be the electron affinity now let's see how an ion is formed. This is an example of chlorine atom having 7 valence electron in its outermost shell and it has 1 electron less than its nearest noble gas configuration. So it will accept 1 electron to the outermost shell and effective nuclear charge between the nucleus and the outermost electrons reduced and electron cloud will expand and a chloride ion is produced which is larger than the original atom. Now factors affecting electron affinity. There are three factors on which electron affinity depends. Nuclear charge, size of atom, electronic configuration. Now let's see first is nuclear charge that is Nuclear charge and electron affinity are directly proportional to each other. Means if nuclear charge increases, size of an atom decreases and the force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electrons increases. So the addition of electron into that atom increases. That means electron affinity increases. Second factor is size of atom as we uh, have uh, mentioned here that size and electron affinity are inversely proportional to each other. That means if atomic size is less, electron affinity will be more because the size of atom uh, depends upon the nuclear charge and if size is less, nuclear charge is more. That means electron affinity will be more. Then third factor is electronic configuration. For pseudo filled, half filled configuration, electron affinity is almost zero and for fully filled configurations, electron affinity is zero because these configurations are more stable and addition of electron in these configurations is difficult. Now let's uh, learn how the if nuclear charge affects the electron affinity. For example, let's take an example of lithium atom having one electron in its second shell, valence shell. If one more electron is added, it becomes beryllium, then boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. Means with the addition of electron, nuclear charge also increases, number of electron also increases, but number of electrons are added in the same shell. So the effect of nuclear charge is more pronounced than the effect of addition of electrons in the outermost shell. So the force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electrons increases and size decreases. So the 
incoming electron feels much more attraction towards the nucleus. So electron is added and the energy is released which is called electron affinity. Now effect of atomic size for example this is the structure of fluoride fluorine atom having seven electron in its valence shell and if it has only one electron less than the nearest noble gas configuration. So it will accept an electron to complete its octet and becomes fluoride ion. This is the structure of chlor chlorine atom having seven electron in its valence shell and it also has one electron less to complete its oct octet and accept an electron and becomes fluoride ions. Similarly for bromine atom again one electron is less so it will accept one electron to complete its octet. Now let's rewind this structure and see the speed of addition of electron in the outermost shell of these atoms. This is fluorine atom when electron is added that means electron affinity is less than chlorine atom electron is added with a greater speed that means electron affinity is more. This is bromine atom and electron is added but again the incoming electron feels less attraction towards the nucleus. This is due to the reason that when we move in a group from top to bottom generally electron affinity decreases but there are some anomalous behaviors irregularities if we move in a group first element of the group has less electron affinity than the second ele uh, element of that group for example for halogen family fluorine has less electron affinity than chlorine because the size of fluorine atom is small and it has compact 2p orbital which has electron electron repulsions so incoming electron does not feel much attraction towards the nucleus as compared to chlorine atom which has larger 3p orbital so electron affinity of fluorine is less than chlorine as we have seen in this also structure let's see once again fluorine atom addition of electron I have shown it with a slower speed that means electron affinity is less whereas for chlorine atom there is more tendency of this chlorine atom to accept an incoming electron electron affinity is more this is bromine atom again electron affinity is less and similarly for iodine it will have less electron affinity than bromine, bromine atom. Then the trend in periodic uh, period is as we go across a period from left to right generally electron affinity increases means as you go from left to right atomic size is decreasing that means there is more force of attraction between the nucleus and incoming electron so more tendency of an atom to add an electron but certain irregularities are again there in when we move in a period that is pseudo filled half filled fully filled configurations have zero electron affinities for example in second period beryllium nitrogen and neon have zero electron affinities as compared to other members and if we uh, see the these graphs that is electron affinity versus atomic number hydrogen has some electron affinity but helium has zero electron affinity again for second period elements lithium has some electron affinity but beryllium zero again it increases boron then carbon but for nitrogen it is zero then after nitrogen oxygen has some electron affinity and the highest 
in the second period is fluorine atom. Again, neon has zero electron affinity. Similarly, for third period elements, and we see that halogens have the highest electron affinity in their respective periods. And if we compare halogens, then fluorine has less electron affinity as compared to chlorine, as compared to bromine and iodine. And for pseudo-filled, half-filled and fully filled configuration, electron affinities are zero because these configurations are more stable. So the addition of electron in these configuration is quite difficult. Thank you so much. This is my email ID.